are tired of making the usual chocolate crinkle, today I'm going to show you a variation. Let's make a crinkle lava. These are crinkles with a chocolate ganache or caramel on top. I hope you'll give this a try. For the crinkle lava, you need one half cup of butter, three fourths cup of white sugar, three whole eggs, two teaspoons vanilla, two teaspoons baking powder, one four teaspoon salt, two cups all-purpose flour, one cup chocolate chips, one half cup of cocoa powder, you need confectioner sugar to coat the crinkle. Then for the filling, you need one fourth kilo of dark chocolate and one half cup of all-purpose cream. For the uh, crinkle, if your butter is soft, you can mix everything together. But my butter is still cold, so I'm going to cream it with the sugar. And then I'm going to add in the vanilla, the salt, Okay, I'm using unsalted butter. We're using Magnolia Gold. Baking powder, you add it to the flour. As well as the uh, cocoa powder. Make sure they're all sifted before you measure them. You don't have to cream them for a long time. Just until the butter is soft and it's combined with the sugar. All right? So we add the eggs now. Remember, we're making cookies. We're not making cakes. So you don't need to cream for a long time. You add in the eggs one at a time. Make sure it's well incorporated before you not add the next egg. And then we lower the speed. And then we add in all the dry ingredients. You may sift the dry ingredients again if you want to. But for me, one sifting is enough. You sift before you measure. After that, you just mix it with a spoon or you can mix it in the mixer. Low speed. Only until it binds. Okay? This is how it should look like. And then you can add chocolate chips or you can add nuts. This is optional. It means you may not add it if you don't want. But I like uh, the chocolate chips. Okay. Okay. When you roll, uh, when you roll crinkle mixture in the powdered sugar. After there's sugar, don't roll it between your hands. You can roll it between your hands before you add the sugar. But after you have the sugar, don't roll it with your hands because the sugar will melt. Like, you know, for, what I'm trying to say, like for instance, this one, you can roll it with the palm of your hand. But once it's already in the sugar, don't roll it again because uh, the sugar will melt, okay? So like this, immediately put this here. Okay, next thing we need to do is, we have to make a hole here using the bottom or any, any, you make a hole like this in the center so when this is cooked this is where we put the ganache all right like this and then once we're done we put this in the oven yeah you bake this for about uh, 15 minutes maybe 12 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees okay so let me finish the rest here's the crinkle lava we will check in uh, 12 minutes, all right? Let's make the filling for the uh, crinkle lava, which is the ganache. So we're going to heat the cream. Don't boil the cream, just heat it. All right, see? Uh, it's starting to boil now, it's simmering, so we shut off the heat. And then we put in the chocolate. This is dark chocolate, you can use semi-sweet, you can use bittersweet okay you let it soak for about uh, one or two minutes before we stir it okay. I have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded the more chocolate you add the firmer the ganache the more cream the more watery the ganache so you just stir this 
until the chocolate melts completely. We have our crinkles. You can fill it. I have here, this is caramel. You can put caramel. And we will do two kinds, caramel and chocolate. If you ask me, is this sweet? Yes, it is. But the crinkle itself is not sweet. It's just a topping. And then I'll do half with the chocolate ganache. All right. If you cool this down, this will thicken a little bit. But this is okay. If it has started to set, you can put it in a pastry bag and pipe it. It's faster. If you love caramel, then do the caramel topping. If you love chocolate, then do the chocolate topping. They're both good. The ganache will set at room temperature. Uh, the caramel will stay uh, soft as it is. This is still warm, so I have to spoon this. Once it starts to set or it starts to cool down, then you can use a pastry bag like what I did with the caramel. Easier to dispense. 